So percentage numerical problems I'll explain now. So few questions I'll tell you how the problems will come from percentage and how we need to solve this. Okay, for example, the question number one is find two three by five. percentage of 1.4 kg so you can expect similar problems with just uh, changing the numbers and concept is same so in this problem we need to find out 2 3 by 5 percentage of 1.4 kg so previously you have seen how to change percentage to fraction and fraction to percentages the same time ratio and decimal conversion also we have seen so based on that we can solve this so given thing I am writing question like this 2 3 by 5 percentage of 1.4 kg now kilograms if I convert into grams into 1000 because 1 1.4 is small quantity number so I am converting into grams to easy calculations 2 3 by 5 percentage of 1.4 kg is 1400 grams. Okay, just multiply 1000. Now 2 3 by 5. That was a 10 and 13 by 5 percentage of 1400 grams. Now Whenever you remove the percentage symbol, we should divide by 100. That we know. So 13 by 5. So if I remove the percentage symbol, I should divide by 100. And OF, OF means into here. 1400. Okay, given question, I just change. We noticed. In the per place of percentage symbol, we should divide, multiply 1 by 100. That is, we should divide by 100. And OF. In terms of of that is into of 1400 so into 1400 now just a cancellation this two zeros and two zeros means 100 ones are 114 zero. okay again 13 into 14 by 5 13 into 14 is 182 182 by 5 grams 182 by 5 is 36.4 so 36.4 grams is 2 3 by 5 percentage of 1.4 kilograms this is the way you can solve now next question if Okay, first time writing question, then we'll see how the question is there and we'll need to solve. If 8.5 percentage of a number is 68, so find the number. So if you observe the question. So number is there in that 8.5 percent of particular number is 68. So this sentence I should write in the uh, form of letters. So let the number is x. So what number we need to find out? I am taking some x. Okay. So then from condition. So required number I am taking x. Then. So condition is 8.5 percentage. So 8.5 percentage of a number, so number I am taking x is, that is equal symbol, is 68. Okay, just a given sentence, I just write only letters. Now again normal process, 8.5, the percentage symbol if I remove 1 by 100, of is into x is equal to 68. Now we try to simplify this. 8.5 by 
into x is equal to 68. So 8.5 by 100 is 85 by 1000. Okay, after point one digit. So 85 by 1000 into x is equal to 68. Now x is equals to 68 into this 85 by 1000 if you take right side 1000 by 85 reciprocal so by using phi table if you cancel so do cancellations now so instead of multiplying and division better go for cancellation process now phi table 5 ones are 5 35 7 5 two hundreds and 17 table 17 ones are 17 fours are 68 now that is 4 into 200 fine okay? so 4 into 200 is 800 so 800 is a particular number 8.5% of 800 is 68 that means so in this place 8.5% of 800 is 68 okay one more question so every method one problem I'll tell you what percent of my question is percentage only you have to find out what percent of 80 is 92 okay what percent of 80 is 92 so percent may be more than 100 also because some percent of 80 92 means answer should be more than 100 so let the percentage is x now we can write x percentage of because i am taking percentage is x so x percentage of 80 is equals to 92 take this step x by 100 because x percentage of means into 80 is 92 ok from this x into 80 by 100 is equal to 92 so x is equals to 92 into 80 by 100 is 100 by 80 changing now we go for cancel 0 4 okay 2 table to 4 zero, 2 5 zero. again you can cancel 4 2 zero, 8 12 3 zero. so 23 into 5 that is 115 so 115 is the 115 percentage. So 115 percent of 80 is 92 because the result is more than 80. So percentage also will get more than 100. Okay, notice here percentage of 80 is 92. So 115 percentage is more than 100. So result is more than this given value. More than 80 means 92. Okay, you can check in this. Let us see two more problems uh, which are similar questions. Now, what percent of two rupees sixty paisa is fifteen paisa? What percent of Two rupee, two rupee sixty paisa is fifteen paisa. What percent? So I'm taking some x. Now we can write like this. Everything convert into paisa. Because 2 rupees 
60 paisa is 260 paisa, right? Because 2 rupees and 60 paisa, 260. So we can, I can write the sentence like this. X percent of 260 is equals to 50. Because units must be same. Then only we can solve the problem. So X into percentage is 1 by 100 of is into 260 is equals to 50. So x into 260 by 100 is equals to 15. From this x is equals to 15 into 100 by 260. Chaining right side is reciprocal. Now go for cancellation. 5, 2 table, 2 13, so 15 into 5, 75 by 13. So 75 by 13, if you do division and write in extraction, 5, 10 by 13. Now we can conclude. So 5, 10 by 13 percentage, therefore 5, 10 by 13 percentage of the 2 rupees 60 by 7. Okay, 2 rupees 60 by 7 is 15, which is asked that is 15 by 7. So, answer is 5, 10 by 13 percentage. See one more numerical sum. Okay, if they'll give questions in uh, fractions, that is 2 by 3 is what percent of 4 by 9? Okay, 2 by 3 is what percent of 4 by 9? Therefore, so we can write statement given question we can add in terms of x percent what percent they said x i'm taking x so x percent of 4 by 9 is equals to 2 by 3 because 2 by 3 is what percent of 4 by 9 so x percent of 4 by 9 is 2 by 3 root then x percentage so x into 1 by 100 whenever you remove the percentage symbol of is into 4 by 9 is equals to 2 by 3. Now try to simplify. Yeah, I can cancel here also if you want. Otherwise, 4 into 1, 4 by 100 into 9 is 900 is equals to 2 by 3. So x is equals to 2 by 3 is right side into 4 by 900 is becomes 900 by 4. So whenever you change LHS to RHS reciprocal because 900 is dividing, so it multiply, 4 is multiplying, it divide. So fraction will be reciprocal. Now we can cancel this. 2 1s are 2 2 are. 3 1s are 3 3 are. And 2 1s 2 150. So finally, x is equals to 150. So we can conclude. Therefore, 150 percentage of 4 by 9 is 2 by 3. Okay, so this is the way we can solve the problems. Any numerical problems which are related to the percentage. So we'll solve by converting them into proper conditions, proper uh, numerical equations. If we convert, then we can solve easily. Okay, next we'll, I'll explain you how when the value is decreased or increased, how to find out the percentage. So we'll see now.